we are looking at how to build your hierarchy up to the master peg. Now at the moment we have all separate pegs on each drawing layers that we have, which we created uh, in the previous topic. So essentially what we want is go from all of these different pegs to group these up into as few as the master peg, which will be the one selecting the entire character. So um, what you could do to get started is uh, close down the, some of these views here, which we won't need. Uh, we're going to keep just the node view and the drawing view active. And if you're feeling confident, you can even hide the camera view altogether because it will not affect anything we do at this point. So for instance, if I go to the arm, I'm going to create a new peg. Usually what I do is I call these uh, the full version of the uh, the ones that are grouped. So I have the full forearm peg, just like so. And I'm going to group these two together so that I can select both the hand and the elbow. Don't worry about the pivot point just now. We will have a look at that a little bit later on. And then I'm going to have, oh, just don't forget to have um, the, uh, the letter of whether it's a front or back arm. I'm going to have a second peg grouping the entire arm together so that when I select this peg, I can select the entire arm. So I have full arm front peg. And I'm going to do the same for these other ones. I'm going to have peg here, another one there, and I can even go as far as having a peg that is going to join both my arms together. And I'll just name these. And just like that. So now I have both of my arms grouped up into a single peg. I can have a peg for all of the elements of my face. And I can always add more of these as I go. So it's nothing final. You can always come and add some more later on if need be. So if you've connected your pegs just like that to uh, another peg and that you need to go and add some more under it, you don't need to go and unconnect everything. If I create a new peg using control P again, uh, and supposedly I would want one to join both my glasses and my pupil, I could go and press alt and automatically, as you can see, it's going to connect between a connection that is in your node view. So then I can just easily go and replace that connection because you can only have one uh, connection coming uh, from your upper port of your pegs. So I'm going to have the full eye back here. And I can have another one here pressing Alt going to be my eye. Always keep in mind uh, that you're creating pegs for uh, animation to be created on those. So try and make uh, sense of the pegs that you create and be certain that if I wanted to have animation on a group of these, I would have a peg that would control uh, the lot of them. So then I can have a peg that is going to control the entire head. So I would have these here, I would have the ears, the hair. So now I have a peg that controls my entire head. I could even have um, a, 
a peg that would control my head with my collar because the the character's collar is actually a little bit tight with his face maybe when he tilts his head uh, we won't want to have the collar moving a little bit so I'm just gonna create my collar with head peg just like that and I'm gonna come and connect the different pieces of my collar just like that and moving up I could have the body along with my head it's nice I find to have a peg that controls the body without necessarily having the arms in it because it allows me to um, to be able to tilt my characters my character and if his arms are leaning against something I can just leave them there without it affecting too much so I have my upper body no arms and I'll have the upper body here and this one will have the arms included so I can just go and connect this to the top peg just like that and then I can do my legs one peg that controls everything that goes under the knee so I'll have my full leg front peg and then I'll have my full thigh front peg same as for the arms I could have a peg that comes and connects both of these so this would be my legs peg make sure that all of your pegs are named differently if you try and name them something that already exists you'll get a little error window that pops up and notifies you full leg back and finally the last one full thigh back peg and then I can just connect these together which are my two last pegs of my hierarchy and connect to the legs and I can call the top peg my master peg now with these you can now select for instance your foot and move up and down your hierarchy by pressing B if I press B it's just gonna keep moving up my hierarchy if I take my I B B B B to move up and down and shift B to move down 